Is it a given anymore with United now where they are? Out of Europe. No European football and we're only in mid-December. And now they're going to Anfield. They might be on the wrong end of another hiding there. Who's to say they won't be? Let's hope so. But, yeah, thank you. Danny Murphy in the background <laughs> just chiming in. Um, surely it's not a given anymore that the big names automatically would want to go to Manchester United. Paul Scholes talked about this in this area of conversation on TNT TV last night. I think there was probably a couple of big, big mistakes in the summer. I think recruitment at Manchester United this year in the summer was the easiest it could have ever have been. You think of the likes of Harry Kane, 100 million probably, you get him. Either way, either way to come here, to come here. The other one was Declan Rice, mm. 100 million. You're buying mm. proper, known quality, the right characters. They know about this club, they know the country, the quality, quality players. I thought it was so easy. But I think them two players, forget about the four or five bringing in for 50, 60 million. Them two players, they're there, they're ready to go proven quality this Man United team will be so much better if they had them too I love scores as a player and I like him on TV but Gary he says Harry Kane yeah he'd have come here if United had done the deal he'd have come here would he? he's talking about Declan Rice Declan end up at Arsenal he's pulling up trees for Arteta at the moment he'd have gone there would he? Well, I think at the moment, if let's take Harry Kane for example. You know, he's gone to Bayern Munich. He's gone for a um, you know a completely new experience, but also more importantly, to spearhead a team that he knows is going to create a lot of chances. He knows have a chance of winning things, not only in um, Germany but also in Europe. So, would he have gone to Man United for those same um, same things? And I think you could argue that he wouldn't have done. Yes, we can talk about look, Man United's a, a massive, massive global. You know, juggern- juggernaut, course, but yeah. but you're not de- you're not judging it on that, are you? You're not judging it on the past fifty years. You're judging it on where they are and here and now as a player. Now there's the finances and there's the ambition and the opportunity as a player and, and how it fits your style. I'm not sure Harry Kane would have chosen them over Bayern Munich. I'm I'm not entirely sure. What do you think, Danny? Difficult one because I think in the, at the time when United finished top four last year, had Champions League football. It felt a lot of us felt the United were moving forward. And they were going to invest heavily, and he might have been sold to, but you know, because he's a he's a he's a homeboy, isn't he? and with the kids, and I think he's gone to Munich and enjoying it, and doing great, because it was the op- the only option. But, but who, they, who but, knows? But these two players have made the right decision in the end. Kane, Kane quite clearly Absolutely. was right to go to Bayern. Well, let, Declan let, quite clearly was right to go. to I don't Arsenal. think Rice would have gone. No, no. I think where from well, I know you were speaking to his people now and again. It was always well, no. I speak to Declan. I've seen him. He was so impressed with Arteta, and he was and and he's a he's a family boy. He's a London lad. He, every you know, I think that Declan would have chosen Arsenal out of Man U. I think he felt they were on the right trajectory. I mean, the key question is: Have United fallen backwards in terms of the trajectory has gone in the other direction in terms of being the go-to place? It no longer is. It no like Gary's right. Still an iconic brand. Simon goes on about that all the time. But hang on a second. I think there are clubs ahead of them now that big name players will say, "No, I'm not going to you. I'm going to them." Well, I think the yeah, I think that's fair. I think you're you're also judging what United were an unbelievable club where everyone wanted to be at because they were winning all the time and he had Fergie and all that. But yeah, yeah, what you're looking at now, I think players players very individual. It depends what a lot of players I think in my time and probably still now are most attracted to a club by the manager's cell. And if Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp are sitting with you in a room, I can imagine that's pretty hard to turn down. I know for a fact that Virgil van Dijk chose Liverpool because of Klopp. Obviously, it's a great football club, but he met four, four, four or five clubs. Right, right. And he went because of Klopp. And I, and I would imagine a lot of City players are going to City because Pep has sat down with them and gone, this is what I'm going to do with you. Yeah. This is what we're, getting, we're winning things. Winning things is ultimately the key, but the manager's the pull as well. United will still attract good, great players because they pay a fortune and it's a super club. But if they keep getting themselves out of Champions Leagues early or not even qualifying, that's a problem. I think one of the challenges with Man United at the moment as well is when you look at... And again, I don't like to criticise recruitment because you don't know fully what goes on behind it and whose decisions are whose. But if you look at the balance within the squad at the moment for a, for a, top, for a team that wants to be a top, top club again, um, which is, you know, is, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before they end up back there, hopefully. But you look and you go, you've got Casemiro there, you've got Ericsson there, you've got Fernandes there, and then you go and sign Amrabat in the summer and you just look and you go, Same you've got a lot of good midfielders, but Danny made a great point a minute ago where could they have even got after Bayern Munich if they'd have tried? And if and if you look at them, they haven't got the 
the energy and the athleticism and that real extra zip. And I'm not saying that's all that the game's about, but in terms of off the ball pressing and, and, and going after a team early yeah. on, but it's, yeah. you, you know can't what? do it with those players. No, but, it, but, it, but it's also, you don't necessarily, if you don't want to be a pressing team and have loads of athletes, that's fine. You can do it in a different way. You can be a technical possession-based counter-attack. Be what you like. But what Liverpool did is they realised quickly, look, they saw last season's gone, come on. So who's they brought in? They've brought in Sabozlai. I mean, you don't get a better athletic player than that. I mean, he's technically gifted as well, but I'm sure. talking about what does Klopp love from his midfielders? Press, press, press. Can you go 18-yard box, 18-yard box? Like the great three he had with Henderson, Wijnaldum, Fabinho and Milner, those four actually, who could just do the work because the other three won them the games. Gravenberch, super athlete, six foot plus, fast, quick, strong. You know, and then he brings in, OK, it wasn't his first choice because they were after Caicedo, I know, but Endo comes in. Yeah. Tenacious, yeah. aggressive, yeah. defensive-minded player. Yeah. Captain of St- was it Stuttgart, I think they got him from. So they identify the players they need for the way you want to play. It feels like United have just been picking a few little bits here and there. Exactly. Throwing them together. And, and who's got into Manchester United, Gary, and made them better? Kane has actually made Bayern better. Yeah, yeah. Rice, Dec- Rice. Declan's made Arsenal better. Yeah. I think at the t- I think as well, uh, you know, and we all we all see it at the top 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 level of the game. You know, if you're not going to be incredibly good on the ball consistently, which they've lacked consistency, yeah, you've got to compete off the ball as well in the top. I'm not even talking about the top games. You can beat some of the lower teams with a little bit of just the quality in there, but you know, if you haven't got that extra athleticism. Then space opens up, and if space starts to open up, then people start to get exploited if they haven't got that pace. And, and yeah. I know it's not all about that. There's a lot being spoke about athleticism at that level. You've got to have a little bit of everything. Sure, but you've all, but you've got to be able to cope with games when they start getting a little bit more open but, and teams start moving the ball against you. I'm talking about the top top games. But when you you're know, playing Liverpool. You're right, but you, you know there's a. There's a bit of a myth around. You need six foot two. I, I know I've just talked about grabbing burst height and athleticism, but. You've got, to work, you've got to have a desire and a willingness to do the work yeah. as well. And what that comes from is a manager who won't allow you not to. So the best example you will ever see, and you could watch anywhere in European football, is Bernardo Silva. He is small. Yeah. He's not the strongest. He's not lightning quick. His defensive dis- discipline in his game is amazing. You don't run past him. You don't walk past him. You don't run off him. Yeah. He'll, he'll play middle of the park. He'll play right wing. Full back, he'll track him every single time. He'll press, he'll set the press. Yeah. He'll go, he'll, he'll do the job you ask him to do. Because I watched if he, him at Kenilworth, he'll do all of that and more on but, Sunday. But why should yeah. he? He's a technician, he's brilliant, he's a, number, he's, he's a creative player. He's won everything there is to win. Why should he do all that work? Because he knows if he doesn't, Pep will go, nope. Sure. What, sure. What, what about Grealish defensive work last year when in the big games where he's tracking back and mm, mm. making tackles in because his own Because he has box? to. Got no choice. Yeah, yeah. I don't see that. You know how many times you sort of wink at the fullbacks of Bayern. Yeah. So you, does it? I mean, Manchester United fans listening this morning, does it kill you somewhat that Declan thought, no, Arsenal's a place for me because I want to go there because I can win things there. Um, not United. Does it? Does it kill you a bit that Harry Kane thought, no, Bayern's a place for me because I'll improve. Harry Kane improved, but he has improved and he's improved them. Manchester United have fallen back in the pecking order. No two, they're no longer the automatic go-to side. United fans, what's your take on that and the small matter of being out of Europe and we're still in December? You didn't even drop down into the Europa League because you couldn't. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.